If you play HPZ or any game type that uses special ammo rules and you use a blaster that has any type of rail system, buy one of these. That's it. That's that's the video. Good talk. What do you mean YouTube doesn't like 10 second videos? That's all that needs to be said. Okay, I guess we're going to talk about this a little bit more because I guess there is more to talk about just the fact that I really, really like it. So, let's do that. Okay, jokes aside, this is the Proud Papa from Out of Darts. This is a new offering on their website. It is a little mini blaster that attaches to your main blaster. So initially, this was just going to be something in a 4 for 40 video, but after getting it in hand and using it, I... Um, realized I needed to talk about it for more than 45 seconds in one short video. Now, it'll probably be in that video still, but I wanted something more substantial to, uh, to, to be able to talk about this blaster. And there's a bunch of different configurations with this, which is already something to love. Um, you can get it top rail mounted, side rail mounted, left or right. You can get a variety of different uh, uh, priming bars and triggers. So you can have this kind of basic bar, or you can have one with a thumb button, or you can have one that uh, you can pull to fire. Uh, same with back here, you can have a ring, you can have the, the T-pull, you can have, uh, again, another string oriented prime mechanism. And then the part that is the best is the barrel system. This offers a variety of different ammo types that you can just slot in, twist to lock it in, and now I've got a three shot blast from my single short dart. Or say I'm playing HVZ and there are specials and I need Mega. Now I have a single mega shot that I can use whenever necessary to take out a tank or you know whatever specials need megas or socks. Or if I'm playing in a PvP game and there's shields and they have mega rules for shields, now I can break a shield without having to carry around a whole separate blaster. I love this. Have I, have I made that clear enough to you? I love this. It's nice and simple to use too. You'll grab whatever kind of barrel you want. This is a rival one. You'll line up the notches and then twist uh, counterclockwise to lock it in. And then well, I guess it depends on which way you're looking at it. If you're loading it towards the target, uh, counterclockwise to lock it in, clockwise to unlock it. Uh, then prime. Uh, I recommend priming without the ammo in. I've had issues with uh, not being able to prime properly when it is loaded. Uh, and then uh, you just hit this top bar. That was uh, uh, loud, sorry. But going back to the variety of this, it's something that's just so nice because say you're running something like a rapid strike and you've got those side rails and you wanna hold your rapid strike, you can actually have it set up so that you could have your thumb on the trigger and be able to quickly and easily just take your shot and not have to, you know, move a hand to a different location or something like that. So it's flexible. And that's something I really, really like about this system. Now, pricing uh, for a single barrel and to have the blaster come pre-assembled, you're looking at around $30, $5 less if you want to assemble it yourself. And then added barrels are about $3 each uh, for each one. And again, there's a bunch of different varieties of options for the construction of these. And this was, to me, money well spent. I'm actually going to buy more of these barrels at some point, I think, because I would like to be able to just um, not have to worry about reloading and using two hands. So like, say I'm, I'm in a uh, HVZ situation and, oh, I took out a, something that needed a mega, I can keep one hand on my blaster. If I need to drop the, the barrel, I can, and then reload a second one, prime, and then I'm good to go. And the entire time, my hand was still on my blaster, ready to take out any you know zombies or other players or whatever throughout that whole process. So for me, I think extra barrels is something you should definitely consider if you are going to run this in HVZ. This is a much more compact option than what I had been considering previously, which was the front end from a tri-strike on top of a strike, which is bulky. 
to say the least, like, yeah, it, it works, but it adds a whole lot of length and girth uh, to it. Now, yeah, it's four mega darts, but it, um, it's no proud papa. We'll put it that way. Another thing to mention is there are two different spring strengths you can order with this blaster. I opted for the higher strength, uh, which I think in some situations can be nice. Like if you're using this in more of a PVP situation and you wanna use like single uh, short dart barrels, which actually shoot out about 40 feet with, with a decent amount of, of oomph behind them, nothing you know primary worthy or anything, but it's decent at about 40 feet or so, then I could see going for the higher strength string. But if you're playing HVZ, I would recommend going with the weaker spring. I actually kind of wish I'd got that and I'm probably gonna order a second one of these and get a weaker strength spring version uh, because if you're playing something like HVZ, you don't need that range. Now, the mega shot somewhere between 20 and 30 feet, same with the rival, so you're not getting super far ranges, but when it's close range, it doesn't matter. And I would much rather have an easier prime because this does, for me, require me to kind of put some pressure on the back uh, shoulder stock into my shoulder to get a nice prime off of this. It's not, again, not super beefy or anything, but I'm I'm like not a strong person. In, there's not, no muscle doesn't, no, not there. So keep that in mind. Like if you're in better physical shape than me, this may not be a problem, but I want to be able to quickly prime, be ready and, and go. Uh, so that's something to consider as well. Honestly, to find things that I wasn't happy with, I felt like I had to get kind of nitpicky. Um, I guess probably the biggest thing I can say, which is more on the user end than the blaster is when you're priming it, uh, make sure you're pulling back directly and not back and up which is like if you have your blaster down, you're more prone to do that uh, because then it'll kind of, you can hear it kind of grind and not be a smooth prime. So that's that's something to consider when you're using this. Um, sometimes with the barrels, make sure you push them in all the way. Uh, some are much easier than others. Uh, but yeah, if it's not in all the way, you, you'll notice it's probably not gonna be as easy to spin. There may be a little bit of extra push to get it slotted into that back uh, part before you can twist it. These are so minor. I just think this is a fantastic addition to essentially anyone's collection that uses a blaster that has a rail system you can attach it to and you will ever attend any game that has any use for extra ammo types or you even just want a latch, last ditch kind of shot. It's valuable. It's, it's something that I'm looking forward to having the next time I get to play HVZ. And uh, that's just something I think everyone can utilize. So Luke, Tark, fantastic job on this. I'm looking forward to the next thing you come up with for the website. I'll have a link down below if you wanna pick yourself up one. And I wanna know how you would use one. What configuration would you go for? Or what have you already ordered and have in hand? What are your thoughts on this? If there's anything I missed or, or things you would like to add, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything in the future. Monique, have you be part of this community. With that said, thanks for watching. I think that's, uh, that's enough out of me. I'm out of here.